Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Stephanie Rose. I make videos about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, all that good stuff. So subscribe if you're not already. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. So today's video is something I have never done before and I am so excited to do this. And I don't know why it took me so long to film this video. I've filmed so many self-care routines, night routines, morning routines, work from home routines, every routine imaginable. I feel like I've filmed except for a high hygiene routine in a shower routine so I've shown kind of my shower routine and the like body care routine I've shown that here and there in my vlogs and then like I said my morning and my night routines but I never had a video where I just dedicated like all the body care products that I use in shower after the shower to make my skin really hydrated and silky soft and to just smell really really good and to feel really fresh and clean and I'm finally sharing all of those products and that routine with you guys in this video I'm so so excited I'm literally surrounded by all my products and I'm gonna warn you guys this might be a long video this looks like 50 ish products around me I'm just estimating but I'm gonna share what I use to clean my hair my face my body my feminine areas my feet literally everything um, I'm gonna show you guys all of those products so it's a lot so I hope you guys are excited all the products that I share will be linked in the description and it's it's a lot of products, so it's gonna take me a while to link all them, but I promise to link everything for you guys. So let's just get into this video. Stay tuned to see my hygiene and shower routine. Before I get into the shower, I like to set the mood and I like to make it relaxing because honestly, a shower should be a relaxing experience. It's not just about getting clean, but like honestly, for a lot of us, a shower and your time in the bathroom is like your only away time from everyone, whether it's like your kids, your spouse, like from everyone, that's your you time. So you wanna make it nice and tranquil. So so sometimes I'll like light candles that smell really good or sometimes I'll hang eucalyptus on the shower head to make it smell really good but what I found recently that makes it smell so good without the hassle of getting eucalyptus every couple weeks is using the Dr. Teal's aromatherapy shower mist and the scent is in relaxing eucalyptus. So basically when your shower is steaming hot while it's running, while it's warming up, and before you get in, you spritz this a few times above the shower head and it kind of just like makes the whole entire shower and tub smell so, so nice. So now we'll do my hair care routine first because that's what I start up first when I get in the shower, I do my hair first. So lately I have been using Christoph Robbins products. I absolutely love this brand. I've been using them for a long time now, maybe for like a year now, and what I like about these two products this one is the cleansing purifying scrub it's a soothing detox treatment shampoo what I really like about this is that it's not your ordinary shampoo this is a detox scrub that really helps get rid of the buildup of so many products and you know oils that are in your scalp and I mean I use so many hair products on a daily basis but this really helps to get in there and clean it all out and just leave your scalp and your hair feeling so refreshed like you just have a new head of hair it feels so good my hair feels so soft, I actually just took a shower before I filmed this video and I did my hair and my hair feels absolutely amazing, so, so soft. And it just leaves your hair looking so much more shinier and healthier and it gives it more like bounce and leaves it clean for a longer time. So every time I use this, I don't wash my hair for like maybe three to four days after because of how great this cleans your scalp and my hair literally stays clean for so long. It doesn't get greasy after a couple days with other shampoos that I use. So this stuff is like my holy grail. And so the second step, that goes along with the purifying scrub is the purifying conditioner Zuli. These two go in hand, like this is the perfect second step. So this is a really nice conditioner and this has kind of a gel texture to it. So it's not as heavy as like other conditioners, but it still gives that same effect of detangling your hair and leaving it really soft and smooth in the shower. And it delivers the same type of hydration and shine as like other leave-on masks. But with this one, you don't have to leave it in for like five to 10 minutes. You can just wash it off right away. But I do use a leave even mask because my hair is pretty brittle and damaged from all the coloring and processing it's gone through over there so I always have to use some type of mask in the shower and so I use the Christoph Robin regenerating mask this stuff is so great so this is like a leave-on mask and I do this not all the time just sometimes when I really feel like my hair is so brittle and it really needs the extra boost and this one you do have to leave in for like five to ten minutes is usually what I do so when I have my mask sitting in my hair I also like to tangle it 
while the mask is still in my hair because it really is just like easier to comb through. So I use this Tangle Teaser and this is specifically for thickened curly hair. So when the mask is sitting in my hair, I'll just go and like detangle and then after I brush it all out and it's all smooth, I let the mask sit in my hair for five to 10 minutes. Okay, so moving on to my in shower body products. I use a lot of different ones. So like I said, when I have my Christoph Robin mask sitting in my hair for five minutes, I go on and I exfoliate my body and wash my body and shave and do all that stuff. So we'll start off with exfoliators because that's really my first step with my body before I use an exfoliator exfoliating liquid product. I use this little brush scrub that I got from Amazon. It's really soft. It kind of has these like plastic bristles. And so basically I just exfoliate like gently all over my body. I do dry exfoliating first. Um, and I do my legs, my arms. That's pretty much it. Just my arms, my legs. And I do that as a first step before I use my exfoliating sugar scrub from Tree Hut's. I love Tree Hut. Their sugar scrubs, first of all, are very affordable and they smell so, so good. This one is Eucalyptus Blossom. It's made with shea butter, hemp seed oil, and eucalyptus. So with this, I apply it with this little mesh cleansing cloth. It's kind of like a um, exfoliating cloth, but it's like the sheer mesh cloth i got this from target and it's from eco tools that's the brand and so basically i like get the exfoliator on my skin and then i kind of just like rub it gently i never like scrub it really hard because that's like bad for your skin so just super gently i like rub it and it just adds that extra step of exfoliation and it really gets deep down into your skin cells and so i'll do that and then right after that i will shave because every time i shave and like also do self tanning i usually do self tanning a couple times a week i always want to exfoliate first before I do all that. So my shaving tools are from this company called Billy. They are an online subscription service so you can get these like razors and any of their products delivered to you on a monthly basis. So I literally have razor heads delivered to me every month. I get four razor heads delivered each month because you got to change these out pretty frequently. But yeah this is the Billy razor. I love it. It's so nice and moisturizing on the skin. Like the razor heads have like that smooth like jelly like um, I don't know what that thing is called, but it's like really smooth on your skin and their shaving cream is so 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 soft my skin just feels so smooth with this stuff and this is made with aloe vera and sage So it's also really good for your skin. It's also vegan non-gmo and gluten-free So this is a really like overall really good clean and cruelty free brand and on the topic of shaving I do sometimes like to wax and I use wax strips from Sally Hansen I've been, again, using this for years since I was in high school. I love these for my upper lip and also for my bikini area. Sometimes my unibrow, basically just like heat up the strips between your hands till it gets really hot and you peel it. You can put it anywhere you want and it just rips all your hair right off. Okay, and so after I shave, I like to use the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. I purchased this a couple weeks ago, so this is kind of a new product for me, but I am so obsessed with it. I can't believe I haven't been using this for way longer than that. It smells so good. It smells like um, vanilla. This one's vanilla and macadamia, I believe. Crushed macadamia and rice milk, but it smells like vanilla. So this is kind of like an exfoliator and a moisturizer in one. It does have the like exfoliating um, feel to it. So it's a scrub that nourishes and restores skin's natural nutrients. And it is moisturizing, naturally derived, pH balanced, and there's no sulfate. So it's good for your skin. So after I exfoliate with those two products, I like to do a very gentle cleanse. And I use a couple of different body wash products. So this one is from Shea Moisture. It's their 100% virgin coconut oil hydration body wash so this really just helps to soften and restore your skin it has shea butter coconut oil all that good stuff that really just deeply moisturizes your skin i swear my skin just feels so soft after using this product with the combination of the other products i just mentioned and so with this product i use this little scrubbing thingy that i got from target it's from eco tools as well i like to use this because i like to like get behind my back and like in places that I can't reach. I forgot to mention with the um, Dove exfoliating body polish, I just use my hands with this. I kind of just rub it all over and just, yeah, gently rub it all over because I try to like not be too rough with my skin with all this exfoliating stuff. So yeah, we use this for my back and for the rest of my body. And I do use a special cleanser for my feminine area because that's a very sensitive, very, like you have to be very gentle with that area. I think 
as women we all know that so I don't use any normal soap or body wash down there I use a specific one I use this foam wash and this company I think it's just called L just L dot I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or if you pronounce it a certain way distributed by this is L ink so maybe that's what it's called this is L so anyway this is a foam wash and it has vitamin E this has no fragrances no sulfates and none of that stuff this is for daily care for pH balance designed for your intimate skin so this doesn't have any fragrances which is great because like you shouldn't be putting fragrances down there but it still feels really fresh and clean and i just take a few pumps in my hand and i use my hand of course um and just clean that area and it leaves it feeling very very refreshed they also do have a period care one this one is the daily care one but they have like i said period care and that's for when you're on your period and you need you know extra cleanliness during that time and just wanted to mention a couple other products for feminine care this isn't really part of my shower routine this is more for like when i need a quick refresh so these are some cleansing cloths i also use baby wipes i have baby wipes too um, in both my bathrooms so i use that but this is really nice and gentle and it leaves your feminine area feeling a lot fresh this would be good to keep in like your gym bag or like in your work bag when you need a quick refresh and then this spray is also really nice you can spray this directly on your feminine area or you can spray it on your underwear and it gives you like that extra boost of smelling really good so after the shower sometimes i will put this like on my underwear before i put it on just for like an extra boost and an extra like nice smell so yeah summer's eve is a really good brand i've been using this brand since i was in high school so it's just always been one of my go-to feminine um brands okay so around this time i'll probably like wash out the mask from my hair i'm pretty much done with all of my steps of my body and the last thing i'll do in the shower is put on a in shower moisturizer so basically it's just like a lotion you put on in shower and you rinse it off and it gives you like the same effect of putting on lotion. I love to use this stuff when I'm so lazy and tired and I don't feel like putting on lotion after the shower. And this just saves you the step of doing that. So this is from the Soap and Glory line from Target and it is grapefruit flavored and this stuff is amazing it really leaves your skin feeling so soft so to use it i just put it all over my body and then i do rinse it off i do use lotion after a shower though just for like extra hydration especially in the winter time i need all the hydration i can get but that's pretty much all for the in shower product so now i'm going to talk about my routine like getting out of the shower and like doing my like skincare and my like body care stuff like after shower so first off i wanted to mention the towels i use because these towels are the best towels i've ever owned ever used they feel so soft and plush they feel like expensive hotel four seasons like five star hotel towels they are so luxurious feeling and they're from a brand called italic so italic is basically a company where you can buy really high quality products that are made in the same manufacturers as designer brands like the Four Seasons, um, like Prada, like Miu Miu, a bunch of other like high designer brands. They're made in the same factories, but they just don't have the label, the designer label, so that's why they're super discounted. So they make towels, they make bed sheets, they make duvets. I have a duvet by them, um, and they also make clothing. I have a lot of like clothing and purses from them too. Towels I use every single time I shower are my italic towels. I love them. I just like feel so luxurious and they also feel really soft on my skin because there are a lot of towels out there that are so rough on your skin so I really like those towels for my body and my hair they make it feel really smooth so I'll put on deodorant after I get out of the shower and the one that I've been using lately is from native I've seen so many influencers promote this brand this is not sponsored um, I just was really intrigued because I saw a lot of people talking about it and I really have loved it so much so this one is the cotton and lily sensitive one so this is great for people with sensitive skin just like me it smells amazing i love anything that smells like cotton and then after deodorant i'll brush my teeth my tooth brushing routine is pretty basic um i use the crest 3d white toothpaste i'm not really picky with toothpaste like i'll use just any toothpaste but i do like crest and colgate um, but this one specifically I really like I've been repurchasing this one for the last few months because I feel like it really has like kind of helped whiten my teeth a little bit it says it removes up to 80% of surface stains toothbrushes that I currently use again I'm not picky with my toothbrushes I'll kind of use like any one um, I don't have any fancy like electronic ones but I do love these Oral-B charcoal ones they have charcoal in it which is known to help whiten teeth so I've been using these again for the past few months and the bristles are 
charcoal infused and then after I brush my teeth I will floss and again nothing exciting and after i floss i'll finish off with listerine and sometimes i'll even brush my teeth again after i use listerine sometimes i'm a germaphobe and i feel like when i floss after i brush my teeth like there's still stuff floating in my mouth so i'll brush my teeth sometimes after also okay so moving on after brushing my teeth i'll do my skincare routine and my skincare routine is a whole other ballpark i use so many products to do my skincare routine and i filmed so many videos before showing my skincare routine so i won't really talk about that in this video because i'm focusing more on like the cleanliness of my body and my hygiene um but i will link some links some videos in my description of my skincare routine so you can go check those out to see the latest products i'm using but i will mention that sometimes when i'm showering i will like to clean my face in the shower like soap my face but i don't want to use like regular body wash so i'll use the espa natural beauty hydrating cleansing milk this is really really soft on the face and it is cleansing so it helps get rid of like makeup and dirt and oil but it also leaves it feeling really moisturized like it feels like a lotion since we're on the topic of cleanliness and cleansers i will mention these two products that i also love this one is the tula cult classic cleanser absolutely love this one it's really good at getting makeup out of my face and then the CeraVe renewing SA cleanser this one gently cleanses and exfoliates while softening and smoothing skin so when I really want more of like an exfoliation I will use this one I love it okay so that's for my face like I said again if you want to see my skincare routine check out the links in my description and also with my hair care routine I do plan on filming a video soon maybe in the next few weeks with my updated hair care routine like how i style it the products i use for styling and the different tools i use to style my hair so that again that'll be another video because that's like a whole other ballpark too we don't have time to talk about that okay so moving on to like the last step of my hygiene routine how i keep my body moisturized and hydrated with all my lotions and oils and all that stuff so even though i use that in shower body lotion i still want to use regular lotion outside of the shower for extra moisture so my go-to favorite at the moment is the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty i need to use some type of cream or body butter or something really heavy on my skin because my skin gets really dry especially now that it's fall going into the winter time um, but i do also like to use lighter lotions in the summertime i have been using the summer fridays lotion religiously this one's almost finished but this one is also super moisturizing and this is perfect for summer when i don't need to feel too clunky and like too thick in the skin that stuff is amazing but yeah i love this one at the moment after body cream i'll use some body oil this stuff is great because it can be used for so many different things this is from dr teals and it's the moisturizing bath and body oil in lavender and it has a bunch of oils aloe vera and it's just so amazing you can put this in your bathtub when you're taking a bath so that like when you're sitting and soaking in your bathtub your skin is getting moist and hydrated but i like to put this as a last step over my lotion because it kind of just helps lock in all the moisture all of the lotions all the stuff that i have on my skin this really helps to seal it all in and like leaves your skin feeling so soft for so so long all day long and i'm literally like rubbing my legs right now because that's how soft they feel and it doesn't leave it feeling greasy at all a lot of these oils leaves your skin feeling so yeah just like icky and greasy but this is not greasy at all it literally absorbs really quickly and just leaves your legs and your skin feeling super nice and smooth so i also do want to mention how i do my like foot care because my feet you know we got to take care of our feet we got to scrub them make them nice and soft so in the shower i use this little like stone i got this from like like sally's beauty or just somewhere random i like to scrub my foot in the in the tub and like get under like all those dead skin cells i also use these power peeling foot masks that i just picked up from tj maxx you can get these anywhere you can get these probably on amazon but these help to exfoliate your feet and leave them really soft as well and then another thing i use for my foot is this little exfoliating scrub this is like a little like wand i forgot the official name of this there's a name for this but it's like a little like thing you turn on and like rub against your foot and this really helps get in there and like get rid of your dead skin cells and to finish off with my feet i do use aquaphor for my feet because this 
is like advanced therapy my feet require extra moisture I also use this all over my lips because my lips are very very dry it's been like that since I was a little girl and I'll also use this on like really dry places like my elbows my knees places like that this is such an essential I think out of all the things I showed you in this video today this is number one I cannot live without aquaphor and then as a very very last step to smelling nice so my skin is soft and all that but I also want to smell really nice so I use some type of a body spray and I recently picked up this one from Target this is from a brand called mix bar this was like eight dollars so this is a hair and body mist so you can spray this on your hair to make your hair smell good and of course on your body as a body mist and this is the glass rose scent it smells so good I will say that it doesn't last like for hours, but I think that's a good thing for me because I don't like strong scents. I'm really sensitive to fragrances. I can only use fragrances in small amounts because my lungs get really sensitive. I have asthma. So I kind of like how this doesn't last like all day long. I'd say tops it would last like three hours where it's like really potent and then after that it kind of fades away but i like that it's a nice gentle cleanser like i'm not looking for a really strong perfume you know to go out like this is like right before i go to bed i want to smell nice when i go to bed or when i'm just chilling at home you know all right you guys so that's all other products that i use for my hygiene and shower routine i hope you guys enjoyed listening to me and seeing my routine hearing about all the products i use like i said i'll link everything in my description thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video